Today, I'm doing rear awareness. Uh, before you do rear awareness, your dog needs to know how to touch, how to go to a specific place and touch it with the front, two front paws before this exercise can take place. But today, I'm teaching you why it's so important to, for the dog to know that he has a rear paw because that's going to make it a lot easier for you healing and it's going to make it a lot easier when you have to walk through a lot of people. Um, when we go to the airport, for example, knowing his, re his rear is there and know how to move it, give me opportunity to move between in close places and with a lot of people in there. So let's go ahead and do the exercise and I'm going to show you how we do it and maybe this help you a little bit. As you can see, um, he comes immediately to it because he knows it's going to be reward um, in, in the touch place. Yes. So, like I said before, you need he needs to know how to get to this position where he's at right now. The way you do that, I'm going to give you a little tip here. It's if you have a puppy, let me just go back to the camera. Uh, if you have a puppy, you will hide your treat right here, okay? And you're going to lure into the into the place, or, I mean, the touch area. As soon as he touches it with one paw, you will reward. Two paws, you reward. He stay longer, you reward. You increase that. I'm gonna do another video how to teach him, uh, how to teach your puppy if it's a puppy, a young dog, or the dog doesn't know how to do this. If you see he stays there, uh, he's just waiting because he know good things come in that where he's at. So that's not what I'm teaching today. So let's go back over here. So all we're gonna do is again hide the tree. Yes. If you're gonna see to the left, to his left, he is, it's harder for him to move. In every game, his left is harder for him to move. So I reward me a little bit more if we go to the left and do shorter movement because I want him to improve every time, every day more. So we're gonna go to the right, his right. See, a hundred percent. That was yes. That was excellent. To his right, he can move his rear really comfortable. Uh, to his left. Yes. So I reward halfway there. Okay. Come again. You see he's sitting. No. Place. Touch. Yes. Really hard to his left. So for the left, I reward a lot more. For the right. We can do that when it comes to the right side. To the left, a little bit harder. Um, I can try to go like this, but he don't, in this case, I I always use trees in my hands when I'm moving one way or another. I have another spot over there. I'm not gonna use it, it's not too stable. Um, so we're gonna skip to this one. I'm gonna show you a good, another good thing really quick of why having this exercise, the touch exercise is, so good for your dog. Keep coming. I see. Yes. Touch. No. Touch. Yes. Keep coming. I see. Yes. Touch. Yes. One more time, keep coming. Touch. Yes. You see? Um, let me get the leash on him first. Which being there even help because he knows he has to stay there. Let's go. Okay, as you see, um, he stays there. It gives me rare awareness. It helped me by sending him away. And if you have, it don't have to be that. It can be a blanket. Even the blanket, I would call it place. I don't call it touch. Uh, and the reason why I do that is because I want him to go to place down and stay there. That what place actually means. Uh, touching is just go, touch it with your paws and keep paying attention to me while 
um, we are far away from each other. So that's another thing, another taller subject that, subject that we can uh, talk about it later. Uh, right now, I just want you to know the importance of the touch. And the second thing is the rear awareness. Um, as you see in my dog, I have to continue to train with the left turn. And every game is harder for him to do the left. He's a right side, a right hand dog. Um, and to the right side, he would do a lot easier in any game. So find out maybe for your dog, it's the same thing. It's the left or the right. And if the left is weak like my dog, you continue to do that more, reward more. Um, any, anyway, every time you train your dog and the dog is not accomplishing something, you reward a lot more for every little uh, effort, for every little progress you reward. So I hope you like this video. I don't want to make it any longer. It's already long enough. And um, give me a thumbs up if you like it. And um, I didn't know I was going to say this, but please subscribe. I, I never thought I was going to ask people to subscribe. I bet if you want to, just go ahead and that way you can see the next video that I'm going to be doing. Take care.